All right, I just had to do a video on this, just the immorality and just the pure Satanism that these leftists and, and liberal reprobates in America just are into it. It's crazy. I mean, I came across these articles. First one, it literally says that the normalization of pedophilia by liberals is happening right now in California, uh, in a California university already teaching it to their students. If you don't know, basically this, this uh, leftist university in California was basically teaching pedophilia as a uh, sexual orientation to the uh, students. Yeah, you actually heard it right. They're literally promoting pedophilia as the uh, sexual orientation. You see, when I started with the sodomite movement, they were saying, well, sodomy is just a sexual orientation. Now they're trying to get the pedophiles to get them equal rights too. Because America still has enough, still has enough sense to make pedophilia illegal. But the uh, leftists are trying to push for pedophilia to be legalized as well. And I came across this other article, how apparently leftists, they create this uh, child prostitution law that basically creates a pedophile safe space in California. Basically the leftists in California, of course it's California, like what do you expect from California? But uh, they create this, this law that basically is basically get basically legalizes child prostitution. It child prostitution is now legalized in California. Because again, America is still I mean America's a wicked nation, but they have enough sense to, to basically criminalize child prostitution. Well this is now allowed in California due to these leftist reprobates in California. And it's creating pedophiles, a safe haven for pedophiles. Then I came across this other article where it's uh, California Democrats introduce LGBTQ, you know, sodomite, that's the biblical term, these uh, sex perverts, uh, LGBTQ bill that would protect pedophiles who rape children. You see, that, that's, how it's always been with, with the, that's how it's always been with the sodomite movement. The sodomite movement is never happy. They want more and more and more. And the sodomite movement, they just say, oh, we, want, we just want to have, you know, two, two men marrying. But now they're trying to push for pedophilia. You see, sodomy and pedophilia go hand in hand. And I came across this last article. Uh, it says, liberals at work, California just legalized child prostitution. Exactly, I mean, this is how just how degenerate and just how immoral, and, and most of these leftists are just a bunch of God-hating atheists, so they, they have no morals. That's why they're, they're doing all this degenerate stuff. They're trying to get laws that legalize pedophilia, you know, incest. I even read some article how these liberals in Sweden are trying to get necrophilia, you know, which is basically you, being a, basically you having sex with a dead body. I mean, disgusting, but they're trying to get that legalized in Sweden, trying to get incest legalized. And, and there's already trying to get laws passed in America that legalize incest. I mean, leftists are just, they have no morals. They're just a bunch of reprobate atheists. So I, I just had to do a video on this. This is just, I mean, if, if, you're, I mean, if you're just one of these guys who says, oh, we need to save America, we need to save America, America's going down. I mean, the leftists, I mean, and you, and you say, well, how do we fix this? Well, do we fix it by getting a conservative, you know, president like Donald Trump into office? Uh, no, Donald Trump is part of the problem. I mean, Donald Trump is doing this thing where he is now pushing for homosexuality around the world, sodomy around the world. So it's not enough. It's not enough for America to accept it. They've got to go ruin everyone else's nation. Also, they got to go pervert everyone else's nation. Also, and he, and he keeps sending all these sodomite ambassadors all over the world. And I even read some article about how um, uh, Zambia, this country in Africa, uh, they sent this, this sodomite to, to prison for 15 years for committing sodomy and the US ambassador who was sent by Donald Trump uh, literally condemned it and said oh it's horrifying this sodomite was sent to jail. I mean how is that conservative? I mean how is it conservative to just send all these sodomite ambassadors and like you know Trump sending this, this sodomite ambassador to this Muslim majority country who actually participates in a homosexual pride parade you know he's sending this uh, sodomite Richard Grinnell to, to Germany who's leading this thing to try to push homosexuality around the world I mean how is I mean if if you're saying oh we need to get Donald Trump in office and take care of the leftists um, he's just as bad as the leftists I mean how is pushing sodomy around the world how is that conservative I mean how is that you know conservative Repo it sounds like some kind of just progressive leftist agenda how is that conservative Christians you know Christianity you know um, I read another article about how Poland is basically cracking down on homosexuality and the uh, US ambassador who again was sent by Donald Trump and who's an open Republican condemned it and said oh it's bigotry and homophobia. Again I mean these, the conservative party is 
becoming just as bad as the leftists. And you know, I could do a whole other video on that. But the bottom line is, is that the solution to this problem is not to get a conservative in office, because they're, they're kind of part of the problem in many, many ways. The, the uh, option is to turn to Jesus Christ. He's, he's, the, uh, he's your hope, you know? And when you turn to him, guess what? During the rapture, you're out of here. You're not in this world. You know, you're not, you're not here when all the bad stuff goes down. You're gone. So, I just had to do this video. Um, don't put your faith in politics. I mean, again, Donald Trump trying to force other nations to accept homosexuality, you know, it just, I mean, I'll say it again, you know, so it's just stupid how it's not, not enough for America to accept it. They've just got, so basically America accepts it, but that's not enough. They have to go force everyone else to accept it, you know, it's crazy. So but don't put your faith in politics. Don't put your faith in the Republican Party. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, you know, don't look for a savior in the Republican Party. Look for a savior in Jesus Christ. Well, he is a savior, obviously, but anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.